Okay, now you see the question number 27. Here A, B and C are the partners in a business. Okay, three partners are there. Out of them, A and B are the working partners. A and B are the working partners. So you consider this for calculating working partner remuneration. Sharing profits and losses is there that is not useful. The capitals of the partners, credit balance is 75,000, 50,000 and 25,000. Capitals are there. So the total capital of the firm is 75,000 plus 50,000 plus 25,000. It is 1,50,000. Okay, 1,50,000 is the firm's capital at the beginning. Then uh, profit, net profit as per payroll account is 1,2,000. After debiting the following. So you take this 1,2,000 net profit as per payroll account. Add disallowed expenses. Salary to partner is disallowed. You add this. 18,000 plus 12,000, I think it is 30,000. Add 30,000 salary to partners. Second, bonus to partner is also disallowed. You add this. Total bonus is 12,000 plus 8,000 plus 4,000. This is 24,000. 24,000 bonus is disallowed. The next is commission to partner. A 20,000, B 15,000, C 15,000. It is totally uh, 30 plus 20, 50,000. Okay. 50,000 commission is also disallowed. Third point. Interest on capital. Interest on capital is first 10,500. Second partner 7,000. Third partner 3,500. So, total interest on capital is, I think, uh, 17,500 plus 3,000. Okay, 21,000. 21,000 is the total interest paid to partners. 21,000 total interest paid to partners. Out of 21,000, you deduct 12% of capital. So, capital is, I think it is 1,50,000. 1,50,000 is the capital. On that 12% you calculate. I think it is 18,000. So 21,000 minus 18,000 balance is disallowed. Remember this. So I think 3,000 is disallowed. And next point. Rent of building to A. Rent of building to A is allowable generally. Generally it is allowable. But uh, 24,000 rent per annum. But fair rent of the same building is 15,000. So this is the point you have to consider. 15,000 is the fair rent, but the actual rent pay is 24,000. It is more than the fair rent. So income tax department will not allow it. So out of 24,000, 15,000 is only allowable. Excess 9,000 is disallowed. So 9,000 rupees disallowed. Then legal expenses of drawing the partnership deed, 1,000. Legal expense of partnership deed, 1,000 is there. You may allow it or disallow it. Okay, you may allow this amount or disallow. If you allow this, you consider as a regular expense. If you disallow this, this is considered as capital expenditure. So the partnership deed is a asset agreement. So for that, you consider that as a capital expense and disallow. Okay. Then donation to fund established by state government, medical relief to poor. This donation is not related to business. You disallow it. Disallow. And thereafter, you have to consider for ATG deduction. The next is Indira Gandhi Memorial Fund is also not related to business. You disallow. Then depreciation charge is 10,000, whereas depreciation allowable as per income tax rules is 15,000. 
so 15000 is allowable but you charged only 10000 so additional 5000 you have to charge you have to charge so that 5000 additional comes in the less setting less setting okay then following are the amounts credited to pay account 20000 uh, interest on bank deposit this is not related to business you deduct it then bad debt recovered 4000 which were disallowed previously this is also not related to business you deduct it in the deduction three items come one is interest on fd second is bad debt recovered third is depreciation three items and you take the net profit as per pnl account then add disallowed expenses thereafter deduct the other head incomes and allowable expenses you will get the book profit in the book profit you give working partner remuneration who are the working partners in this problem a and b are the working partner so amount paid to a and b you consider for working partner remuneration okay and in this problem there are two heads of income one is income from business another is income from other source so you take the total of two head income that is called as gross total income in the gross total income you deduct atg deduction whatever balance comes that is the total income it is the final okay now you see the solution You take the net profit as per pain account is 1 lakh 2000. 1 lakh 2000. Add disallowed expenses. In the disallowed expense, first is partner salary total. Salary to partners total it is 30,000. Second, bonus to partners 24,000. Okay. Third, interest on capital 21,000. In this 21,000, you deduct allowable interest total capital of the firm is 150000 into 12 divided by 100 12 percent is allowable so 18000 allowable remaining 3000 is disallowed interest on capital next is commission to partners total commission paid to all partners is 50000 that is disallowed then next is rent paid to a Rent paid to A is 24,000. Out of 24,000, 15,000 is fair rent allowable. Excess is disallowed. Excess is disallowed. Then partnership deed. We consider that as a capital expenditure and not related to business. So disallowed. Government don donation to state government for uh, medical relief to poor. It is not related to business. Disallowed. Donation to Indira Gandhi Memorial Trust that is not related to business disallowed. Okay, so you take the total. Total is two lakh twenty nine thousand. Two lakh twenty nine thousand total less allowable expenses and other head incomes. Allowable expense and other head incomes. So allowable expense is only one that is depreciation. Allowable depreciation is 15,000. Already charged is 10,000. So, additional charge is 5,000. So, 5,000 is allowable. The next is interest on FD 20,000. Bad debt recovered. Previously disallowed. That is 4,000. These three are the not related to business. One is allowable expense. Two are other head incomes. So, total you deduct 29,000. If you deduct 29,000, your book profit is 2 lakh. 2 lakh is the book profit. In this 2 lakh book profit, you deduct the working partner remuneration. Working partner remuneration you have to deduct. First is according to uh, section 40B. Under section 40B, 
and first 3 lakh rupees 90 percent so 90 percent of book profit or 1 lakh 50 thousand whichever is more first point 90 percent of 2 lakh rupees that means first lab is 90 percent of 3 lakh so 2 lakh is less than 3 lakh so on 2 lakh rupee 90 percent R rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand whichever is more so 90 percent of 2 lakh is 1 lakh 80 thousand 1 lakh 80 thousand is more so we take 1 lakh 80 thousand then actual remuneration paid to a and b regarding a and b you take salary commission bonus etc given to a and b so that total is 85 thousand a mat b ibrigu kottad a mat b kottad salary irabodu commission irabodu bonus irabodu avella total matter 85 thousand aagutadu 85 000. So, out of these two, whichever is less is allowable deduction. So, 85,000 is less, you deduct 85,000. Balance is 1,15,000. 1,15,000 is called as income from business. Okay. Next, you calculate other head income. That is the other source. Third, other source income you calculate. So, other source income is Interest on bank FD, that is 20,000, only one item. This is the only income from other source. So 20,000 is the income from other source. Business is 1,15,000. Total it is 1,35,000. 1,35,000 is called as gross total income. Okay. Gross total income. In this gross total income, you deduct the deduction under section 80G. Less deduction under section 80G. First is state government for medical relief to poor. Donation to state government for medical relief to poor. This is the first category item. 100% qualify, 100% deduction. Okay. So 5000 is the donation. It fully qualify and fully deductible. Second is Indira Gandhi Memorial Fund. Indira Gandhi Memorial Fund is 5,000. It comes, it also comes under first category. 100% qualify, but deduction is only 50%. Deduction is only 50%. So 50% 50 of 5,000 is 2,500. So, total deduction is 7,500. You deduct 7,500. Remaining is 1,27,500. 1,27,500 is called as total income. Total income. In this way, you solve this problem.